Hey everyone, me Baba. Baba Waba. Baba Waba. Okay, buddy, run free. Alright, guys, I probably have hair in my face. Um, today's, we're doing a YouTube video on getting back into the swing of things after you have this long vacation. Um, so many times, you know, you get back and you're like, oh, all my progress is gone, or you're really bloated, or however you feel. Um, or for guys, a lot of time you feel skinny or whatever it is. Um, I got back into the things, swing of things yesterday. Felt like crap, but I made it to the gym. Um, but I want to show you guys today just kind of like the recovery process and what I'm doing to get back in the swing of things. Um, the first day back was rough yesterday. I wish I would have recorded this yesterday just because I feel like um, you guys would have liked to see everything that I did yesterday because things are going to be a little more different today, but um, I didn't think about it. So I just wanted to record everything today. Yesterday I ended up doing 25 minutes of Stairmaster. Usually I'm at 15 to 20 on a normal day. Um, when I get as lean as I want to be, which would be like before vacation, I go down to like 10 because I don't need that much. But getting back into it, I do 25 to 30 minutes first day back. Um, it really helps me. Today I woke up feeling like way better. Um, yesterday I was bloated. Um, I know it may not look like that, but yesterday I was very, very bloated. I get the same things. I was nauseous. I, From all the food I ate, I felt like crap, like total crap. So the last thing I wanted to do was record my day, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I was um, 114 going into vacation. I got home at 118 um, normal. It was a five-day vacation. And then this morning I woke up at 114. So I want to share with you guys today kind of the things that I do. Literally like one day of eating good makes you feel so much better. I woke up today feeling like incredible, like I could sing to the birds. But um, I'm going to take you guys through the day today. But the biggest thing I wanted to mention is just first day back, get as much cardio as you can and because that's what your body's going to need to burn off all that food that you ate. And you're going to feel so much better by day two already. So I know it doesn't take a day. It takes a while to get back into it. Probably just as much time you had to get out. So if it was a six day vacation, probably take six days to get back into it or whatever it, you might, it might take for you. Um, everyone's different, but I'm going to take you guys through the day and show you guys what I do. Let's do this. Okay, so the first thing when I got back from vacation, I started up back with my supplements, being I didn't take them on vacation, and sorry, you guys have to look at this giant pimple on my face. Um, <laughs> I take my greens and superfoods, so being there, I literally ate junk, like hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, quesadillas, just tons of cheese and junk. So when I got back, first thing I wanted to do was take my live body greens, superfoods, helps with digestion, helps get your body back, helps with all the nutrients that you were missing, um, and just helps kind of cleanse you back out. Um, if you guys, I'm gonna go through all these products too just because they, these are all naturally sweet. None of this is, has like junk in it. I've been with supplement companies before. I'm telling you guys, Live Body is all natural, no artificial anything. So, um, and you guys get 20% off also use code Jordan 20 but this one right here is strawberry flavor um, it has 28 greens and superfoods so that's not the first thing um, the second one's the ginger I take this every day this is gonna help with my immune system it's gonna help um, with energy levels all that fun stuff collagen was for hair skin and nails so I broke out bad just because I was wearing lots of makeup it was hot um, I was eating junk so I can start to see breakouts you know I'm not used to my body's not used to that so this is gonna help hair skin and nails you know all that fun stuff I just it's unflavored so you can put this in your water your protein shake you won't even notice and then hydrating aminos was definitely needed especially at the gym sweating all that alcohol out but this right here is going to help you recover i'm going to be very very sore this week because i kind of skipped like a full week um so this right here has coconut water powder for advanced hydration so being dehydrated from all the alcohol we were there for a wedding in mexico lots of tequila <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead i'm taking this every single day to help recover and help me get back to where my body needs to be so these are just a few there's also multivitamin there's the greens and protein all that good stuff but like i said code jordan 20 and you guys get 20 percent off but that's the first step the next one's going to be diet but we'll go through that later today but right now we're going to go to the gym um we're going to show you through the workout a little bit um and yeah guys let's go let's go i'm getting getting ready you ready, baby? You ready, Murmur? Say hi to the camera. Murmur, say hi. Everyone wants to see you. Everyone wants to see you. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. 
All right, we made it to the gym. <clears throat> Probably gonna train some shoulders. Uh, we're definitely doing cardio again, being we're getting back into it. I'm not ready to do legs. It's gonna take me like a few days to recover to do legs, but um, we're gonna go ahead, do cardio, sweat it out, burn all those calories. I'm actually probably gonna sit in the sauna, stretch. Um, so this morning I had oatmeal, and now I'm gonna have this protein bar as like a mini snack after the gym. And I'm gonna kind of like, I'm not gonna fast, but I'm just not gonna eat lunch till probably like one. But we'll talk about that later. Anyways, let's go watch our shoulder workout. Come on guys. We're heading the normal, always Starbucks. Um, so we did, we did shoulders. We filmed it for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I usually do four sets of 15 of everything drop set, but because I'm getting back into it, we didn't go like super crazy. What you guys didn't see is we did do 20 minutes on the Stairmaster to really burn those calories. Um, this whole week I'll probably be doing 20 minutes just because I feel like I need to get back to my normal self. Um, but the workout was great. I'm a little bit weak and Steve feels a week as well so we didn't push ourselves we didn't try to go to the weight we were at before vacation just because you don't want to get hurt you don't want to get injured so easing back into it make sure you guys are really just using a little bit less weight don't do all those drop sets those crazy circuits just get ease yourself back into it and also you got to help with your immune system too so um, make sure you're doing you know you're not overdoing it and you're not gonna get sick and all that so we didn't overdo it I feel great Glad we did it. Now it's time to go work. Let's do this. Let's do it. <sighs> These are so hard to chew and swallow. Uh oh. That's what she said. So I'm having a power crunch bar, and it's really hot, and I'm sorry. I'm having a power crunch bar. It's a really bad <laughs> angle. And um, it's my bad, so I can't push it back a little. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go have Starbucks. Starbucks usually suppresses my appetite. And just because getting back from vacation, eating all the food in the world, I'm not on the right food schedule just yet. So um, I'm gonna have coffee and I'm not gonna eat lunch probably until like one, it's 11 now. So that'll, this will keep me good until then. And uh, I'm pushing my food out a little bit. That way I don't eat too much throughout the day, coming back into it, getting back to the waist size I was before vacation. So, like I said, I'm not stressing it. I enjoyed myself, it was amazing, but just helping you guys get back into it. All right, enough of that. Steve feels super like bloated coming back from vacation, mainly because of all the bad food he ate. All I ate was tacos, pizza. Everything. And that's how I felt for the first day. So the first day feeling bloated for me was okay because I, I didn't eat as much and I wasn't hungry throughout the day. So then today I feel like a thousand times better. I feel like I lost maybe like two or three pounds yesterday because I was so sick feeling and bloated that um, I didn't eat a bunch. But although I feel weak today from it, um, I do feel like I'm, I leaned out kind of from that, which sucks, but in a way it's kind of good because I felt like I made up for all that bad food. So it's kind of what you're doing today, I guess. Yeah, hopefully I feel better tomorrow. I think you will. And um, doing cardio is gonna get your um, appetite and everything back to normal, your metabolism and all that good stuff. So you're gonna start to feel like more hungry tomorrow, getting back into the gym, burning calories, getting your digestive system going. So. Um, yeah, that's about it. The first day back is rough. And we were just like talking about how it really just sucks getting back, like leaving work, work, what we do, you know? And then going there thinking, let's film the whole time, let's get content, let's do YouTube, let's share. But then we're like, 
we want to enjoy vacation. So that's the hardest part about doing, you know, online and Instagram and, and being an influencer is that you want to always show content, but there are times when you just don't. You just want to get away and you want to just have fun and not document it. Just enjoy it, be in the moment. Not, I barely took any pictures. I barely had my phone. We didn't have the camera and it was just like incredible. Even though I regret not being home because I'm like, that would have been cool. But I think it's more important to enjoy those things sometimes as well. But the next trip, we're definitely going to record a lot for you guys. So, yes. Alrighty, so for lunch, I am going to have a salad today. I'm just craving greens, especially after Mexico and especially after, you know, all the junk. So, right here, I'm going to, I have um, heart of palm, I have cauliflower. Uh, this is deli meat. I have salad, onions, tomatoes, and croutons. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some beets. I love beets. These are already cooked. You can find these at Publix. Um, you just cut them up. And then chickpeas. So um, that's about it. And as far as the dressing goes, I'm not going to go ahead and load it up with ranch because then why are you eating salad anyway? You're eating your calories and dressing and that's not cool. So this is yogurt ranch, 45 calories per serving, three grams of fat, three grams of carbs. And I go ahead and mix it with balsamic vinegar, but make sure when you guys do add, doesn't mean you can still drench it in dressing. It's literally two, ta two tablespoons per serving. So make sure you guys are watching that as well. So here's my lunch. Oh yeah, and there's cucumbers in there too, yum. Okay guys, so I just had uh, a shower. I had a protein shake. Um, so today my, my day was kind of, you know, I had my oatmeal, my salad. It was big salad. Um, <clears throat> protein bar, protein shake, coffee, and then I'm gonna have dinner. So as you can kind of tell, it's a lighter food day. Um, I'm gonna give you guys six or seven tips, basically, post-vacation. If you guys wanna get back to pre-vacation quickly, these are my tips to you. Kind of went over it earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video on this. Um, first one, drink tons and tons of water. Really help your body to detox and recover. Number two, take your supplements, your vitamins. Take everything, because your body's going to need it. Number three, make sure you guys are having lighter meals, um, probably for the next five days. Like definitely day one, you'll see a huge difference when you get back if you have to spend that one day doing a very, very um, lighter day with food. You'll be bloated and feeling like crap anyway, so it's kind of easy when you're bloated from vacation to have a lighter day. You're very motivated. Um, number three, or sorry, number three. Well, I don't know what number I'm on now. But anyways, it doesn't matter. The last few things are um, also to remember not to stress. It's okay to have fun. It's okay to do those things, let loose. That's what life is all about. So don't get down on yourself. Use that towards you know your motivation to get back into it. Um, do your 25 minutes of cardio when you get back, 25 to 30 minutes of cardio to really burn those extra calories that you ate. Um, for the, probably like five days, I would do 20 minutes. Um, just to really get back and really burn it all off. And the last thing is to remember to get plenty of sleep um, and just not to stress, like I said. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, like, subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up if you, if you really did like it. And uh, like I said, this isn't you know something that everyone want, needs to follow, but these are my tips to help you guys get back to where you were pre-vacation. So the quickest way you can. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll uh, see you in the next video.